Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be comparing a 2021 Ford F-150 Limited to a 2021 Ram 1500 Limited. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Provo and then the Ford here in Provo for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now let's go into the hoods of both of the trucks. Starting over here with the F-150 Limited, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 400 horsepower and then 500 pound feet of torque. Coming over to the Ram 1500 Limited, we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 22 on the highway since this has the e-torque system. And then power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. Let's go over the front ends of both of the trucks. So starting over here with the Limited, you can see the hood is unchanged. You do get the Limited logo, which is pretty neat. And then coming down below, we've got these full LED lights with the LED projector bulbs, and then the fog lights are LEDs as well. And then you can see you've got kind of like an interesting look for the grill here. It's specific to the Limited. You've got chrome tow hooks, and then we do have parking sensors all along the front as well with the Limited. And then coming over to the 1500 Ram Limited, you can see that, again, the hood's unchanged compared to any other Ram 1500, but you do get the 1500 e-torque Hemi badge right there. And then you guys can see you've got full LED lights with the LED projector bulbs and the accent lights, fog lights here at the bottom, and then you've got the chrome tow hooks as well, body color bumper on this one, and then unique front grille. Um, so the biggest difference between the trucks, obviously there's a lot from the front end, but like you get a unique front end on the Ram Limited, whereas on the Ford F-150 Limited, you get the logo on the grille with the lights are like all the other F-150s. Coming on the side here for the tire and wheel setup, we've got 285 millimeter tires on the Ram. On the Ford, we've got 275 millimeter tires, 22 inch wheels on the Ram, and then 22 inch wheels on the Ford. So pretty similar setup. Um, as you can see though, for the design, the Ford design kind of looks a little bit more basic. Whereas with the Ram, I definitely think the wheels look a lot more premium, a lot nicer. And then the Ram Limited does come with air suspension. You guys already saw that 1500 e-torque badge. You got the Ram Limited badge, right? That goes all the way along here. And then the Ford has a power side steps that pop up when you walk up to the truck for the Ram. You actually have to uh, open the door, but we'll go inside in just a moment. Other than that, let's head to the rear. Over the backs of the truck. So first off, from a payload capacity standpoint, the Ram is 1,141 pounds. The F-150 is 1,535. Coming over to the Ram itself, you can see that you've got full liner here over the whole bed. You've got LED bed lights here on the back of the Ram, and then you've got little sliders here and cargo tie-down hooks, all that kind of stuff. And then this is the shorter sized bed. Now coming over to the F-150, you guys can see that you've got the plastic covering right here again. You've got the full spray and bed liner. LED lights, you got the cargo tie-down hooks, full power outlet here in the F-150. Notice that the cargo lights are LED on the F-150, whereas in the Ram, they are not, but that's the bed of the F-150, and that's the bed of the Ram. Now let's finish things up in the rear of both the trucks, starting over here with the Ram 1500. You can see that it looks pretty much like any other 1500 back end. You've got the full LED lights, you get the limited logo, all that, so it does show it's a limited. Body color bumpers, dual exhaust tips for the 5.7 Hemi, and then this does have the bumper step, which you can see pops out, definitely a nice little feature. Parking sensors all along the back. Trunk capacity is just over 11,000 pounds with the 1500. And then coming over to the Limited, you can see that we've got, again, full LED lights, got the little exhaust tip at the bottom. Parking sensors all along the back, and then you got the giant Limited logo. Trunk capacity on this is about 13,900 pounds, so a little bit more trunk capacity on the Limited. But other than that, there is the Ram, and there's the Ford. Let's go into the backs of both of the trucks, starting over here with the F-150 Limited. You can see you've got this beautiful blue leather here with the white stitching all throughout and then the white piping as well. And then I like this trim just down here below. Then you got the cool carbon fiber trim as well. And then coming over to the seats, you can see again, you've got all the blue leather here with a little limited plaque. And then you've got the nice quilted design throughout the rest of the seats. And then lifting up, there's some decent storage space underneath the seats. But let's quickly pop into the limited. So those power side steps definitely make getting in and out pretty easy. I'm 5'11". I fit in here pretty well. You guys can see legroom. Got a couple cup holders right there, your heated seats, little 12 volts. And then we've got a full power outlet. And then coming over here, 
you guys can see we've got some more cup holders with all that but that all being said let's actually pop out of the limited so um well so yeah coming over to the ram 1500 leather over the whole door panel you guys can see we've got the embroidery right here you've got the nice wood trim just up above harman kardon sound system still got the power side steps and then coming to the seats you've got the full black leather here with the nice perforations all throughout on the seats and then the piping on the bottom portion and then there is a little box right here this is kind of like your little ram box it's just a nice bucket there is storage space underneath um, just like in the ford and then if we pop in you guys can see again Still 5'11", since I walked out of the Ford. Got a good amount of headroom. Legroom's pretty solid. Still got the cup holders. Still got the charging spaces. Heated and ventilated seats though here in the back. And then this pulls down to be kind of like a giant center console thing um, with some cup holders. And that's the back of the Ram. Now here's the door panel on the front of the Ram. So again, you've got all the nice soft touch leather here with the embroidery and the wood trim. And then more leather and stitching here at the top. And then you've got your memory seat controls. You've got all of our window controls with your power folding mirrors. The mirrors do come with blind spot monitoring. And then another speaker for the Harman Kardon sound system. And then coming to the seats here at the front, nice leather with the piping. You've got the stitching all throughout the perforations here in the center. Just really soft to the touch. And then you've got the adjustments there for the seat just down below. And then here is the pedal layout there at the very bottom. Got your adjustments for the pedal. This is for the parking brake. And then you get your light controls with your fog lights and your cargo light. And then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. And then there's the radio controls in the back of the steering wheel. And there's one more look before we pop into the Ram. Quickly go over the interior here on the Ram. So you've got the wood at the steering wheel with a nice soft touch leather on this part of the steering wheel and then the stitching all throughout. And then you can see you've got your adaptive cruise control over here with your regular cruise control, your gear limiter. And then you've got your voice command phone controls, controls for the center screen, radio controls are on the back. And then you guys can see you've got a little stock there for the turn signal and the windshield wipers. Beautiful steering wheel overall, love the wood at the top. And then coming here into the center screen, you guys can see that you've got the RPMs on the left side. On the right side, you've got the speed, and then you do have a little screen where you can scroll through a couple of different uh, menus, just to give you different bits of information on the truck. Now going from the beautiful blue gauges, we do have the 12 inch uh, display here. First off, we'll pop it in reverse. You guys can see the backup camera. You do have a backup camera with a bird's eye view, and then it does have a bunch of other viewpoints through with the truck. And then you guys can see the backup camera. You can zoom in on the receiver hitch. As for the rest of the screen, you got analog controls on either side of the screen. And then you've got your little controls here for like shortcut buttons at the bottom. Like you can go to the heated ventilated seats from that little shortcut right there. You can deploy the steps at any time if you'd like. Um, the one thing about this screen is the heated and ventilated seats are only in the screen. There's no analog buttons for them anymore. And then as for the rest of the screen, like I said, really good response time. I feel like it's integrated very nicely. At the top of it, you've got your lane departure assistance and then your parallel and perpendicular parking assistance and then your hazard lights right there and then we do have the controls here for the parking sensors turn them on or off your tow haul mode your stability control this is for the air suspension and then the trailer brake controls are right here and then we do have our little drive line select so you guys can see it's a dial shifter you've got your two-wheel drive your four-wheel auto your four-wheel high your true neutral and then your four-wheel low and then the auto stops are just down below now this whole area in the ram we do have the nice center console with the stitching and then you can see you've got the limited logo right there with the nice leather and the embroidery on top and then opening up, we've got the felt inside with the USB. Measuring tables on that part of the back. And then sliding this backwards and forwards. You guys can see that's pretty neat right there. You've got your wireless phone charger. And then we do have a couple USBs for charging. And then a full power outlet at the bottom. More nice soft touch leather here. And then you've got the dual glove box, which decent amount of storage space. With that, we just look leather covers everything. you got wood leather over everything and the Ram Limited. And then finishing things up top, the Limited does have a full panoramic sunroof. And then you do have the power side window right there with the limited all of your controls are centered from then your light controls as well and then it is a darker colored headliner it's just a regular cloth headliner but let's head to the f-150 here's the door panel on the front of the f-150 limited so first off you guys can see we've got the nice stitching and the piping all throughout with the soft touch leather and the carbon fiber trim all of our window controls right here with your mirror adjustments and everything and then your power folding mirror button and they do have blind spot monitoring here is the memory seats and then you've got the door lock and unlock and then you've got the bang and olsen sound system and then there is a speaker in the seats you've got the little limited plaque here with the nice stitching and kind of like the quilted design here with all of the soft touch the seats are really soft by the way and then you guys can see that we've got the adjustments for the seats and then the pedal layout and then we got our parking brake right here with the power adjustable pedals the light controls got the lights outside of either mirror and then the tailgate drop down the steering wheel is automatically adjustable and there's one more look before we pop in And 
Now here's the steering wheel in the limited. So we've got the nice blue leather here on the steering wheel. And then you guys can see you've got your controls for center stack, your phone controls, Ford logo there in the center. And you got the limited with the carbon fiber. And then we've got our volume voice command controls here, the cruise control on that side. And then you guys can see you've got a little stock there for the turn signal and then the windshield wipers as well. But other than that, that is the steering wheel in the limited. The limited does have this full digital readout, which looks pretty cool, right? The Ram's kind of like in between. It's like digital slash analog, whereas this is 100% digital. There are a couple different menus you can scroll through in the center, just like on the Ram. That's all pretty similar, but the F-150 does come with drive modes where the Ram does not. You guys can see that there's a normal slippery, deep snow and sand. There's mud and ruts on that side. And then if we switch it over to the other side, We've got the trailer haul tow mode, basically. You've got your eco mode and then you've got your sport mode. And notice how it also changes kind of like the look of the gauge cluster. Definitely a cool little party trick with the limited. Now here's the center infotainment system for the limited. If we pop into reverse, you guys can see a backup camera will pop up. We do have trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then there is a little zoom in function. You guys can see pretty similar to what the Ram has, except for you do get this cool like bird's eye view that you can zoom in on different things. Um, but all the rest of the camera views, as you can see, it pretty much has a super similar system to the Ram, except Limited does have a cargo camera. The Ram, um, that particular Ram Limited does not. And then another cool little feature is this one has little side cameras as well. So a little bit different, but pretty similar. As for the rest of the infotainment system, touchscreen response time is really solid. Just like on the Ram, I feel like it's integrated nicely into the dash, like the Ram as well. And I mean, it's got a lot of the same features. You got the Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you can control your climate controls from the infotainment system if you want. Now, the thing that's cool about the Limited is when you walk up to the truck, the power ring boards will deploy. And then also you can make it so the lights turn on when you walk up. And the Limited does come with massaging seats. It's just right over there on the seat tab. Uh, the Ram doesn't have massaging seats. So a little bit more on that side of technology. And then here at the top, hopefully you guys can kind of see this. You got your auto stop start. This is to turn on the camera system, your parking assistance. That's your hazard lights. And then that is the stability control. And you guys, a lot of people have been asking about this blinking light here. You cannot see it in person. In person, it looks completely black. I don't know what my camera's picking up. I think it's one of the sensors, but like if you're in one of these trucks in person, there's no blinking light there. Now here's the pro trailer assist that comes with the F-150. You've got your trailer brake control just down below. And then down here, you've got a drive line select. You've got your two wheel high, your four wheel high, and then your four wheel auto, and then your four wheel low with the, again, drive mode select, and then your locker. All of your analog controls for the volume controls, and then your analog controls for the climate controls. Again, you've got your heated and cooled seats, and then your heated steering wheel. The Ram, you have to go on the touch screen to turn that on, whereas here, you can just press the buttons. More nice carbon fiber trim here. Wireless phone chargers inside of there with a couple of USBs and all that. It's a nice little trim here. Here's a shifter for that 10-speed automatic. And again, you can shift the gears yourself if you want those little buttons right there. The shifter does fold down. You can't drive the truck with the shifter folded down, sadly. And then you've got the manual shift function. But if we do fold that down and move my uh, microphone, you guys can see that this does have the little workbench right here. Make sure to lower it carefully when you do do the uh, lowering of the workbench. That's because you have this nice plaque here that gives you the VIN number of the truck, and then it says the year, and then it also tells you uh, the production number on it. So it actually is limited, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like this whole area right here. And then coming over to the glove box, you guys can see we've got a dual glove box. You've got nice trim in here. You guys can probably hear that. It's really grippy, so stuff won't slide around in the top glove box. And then nice carbon fiber trim there. Notice that you've got nice leather trim all over the rest of the dash here in the limited as well. Now up top here, we do have a sunglass holder and then suede headliner. So a little bit nicer than the Ram, full panoramic sunroof, universal garage openers, and then you do have your little control for the rear sliding window with the limited traditional mirror. So both of them have traditional mirrors and then your controls to the center for just right there. But that's the top of the limited. Now that we're done going over the interiors and everything on the trucks, let's get into the pricing. So the Ram stickers were at $70,000, whereas the F-150 Limited stickers for $77,000, almost $78,000. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a poll for you guys, and I want you guys to choose the winner for today's comparison. Would you rather have this Ram 1500 Limited? Let's say that you were given the money. Let's say that you were either given $70,000 to buy this Ram 1500 Limited, or you were given $78,000 to buy this Ford F-150 so that everything pretty much is the same. It doesn't matter. So which truck would you choose? I'm going to make a poll. So guys, go vote in that poll and choose uh, between the trucks once this review has been posted. Again, that's going to sum things up for our video 
video comparing this 2021 Ram 1500 Limited to this 2021 Ford F-150 Limited. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Provo and then the Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out both of their inventories in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.